Franchising. Anybody uh, know what the difference between a franchise, a corporation, and maybe just a small business owner? Um, a franchise is <clears throat> when you start a company and you pay to use a certain like, brand name. That's right. And when you use a brand name, you've got to pay them back some what? Royalties. Royalties. That's right. Somebody said it. Royalties. You've got to pay them. So why is a franchise good or bad? Well, the franchise can be good for a couple of reasons. One is they have a cookie cutter plan already in place to show you some of the things, that, mistakes that they made in order for you to be successful. You do have to pay the royalties, but for those royalties, you'll get a marketing plan. You get uh, already uh, nice ads already made for you. You get some extra TV time maybe. Some of the things that are very expensive as a small business owner, they provide for you. The other thing that they do is they force you to do some things. Not only do you have to pay them royalties, but you might also have to pay them uh, a marketing cost. They might make force you that every dollar you bring in, 3% or 5% goes out to marketing so that you can keep your business growing in advertising. Speaking of advertising, I got a good story. When I was in advertising, I used to work for a Southwestern Bell, and I was in advertising uh, selling Yellow Pages. Anybody seen those, you know, Yellow Pages? Kind of old school, but they're there still. Anyway, so there was a story that goes something like this. There was a hot dog vendor on the corner in, uh, in a big city, and he, he'd been there for years, you know, and uh, he, he had a son, sent his son off to college, always succeeding. You know, he had these nice signs on the, on the hot dog stand. He had a sign down the street. He had signs all over the place advertising hot dog stand. And he's been doing this for years, very successful. So the son comes home from college, takes an economics class, <laughs> majors maybe in economics. And he comes home and says, Dad, what are you doing? He says, what do you mean, what am I doing? He says, yeah, you're spending all this money on billboards and advertising. Don't you know that we have a recession on? There's a, there's, the recession is here, and you're going to lose your business. You're spending way too much money on all this advertising, right? He goes, well, you know, my son went to college. He's educated. I'm not. He must know something. So he takes down the billboard, which was pretty expensive. He takes down the sign down the street, and now he's saving money. And pretty soon, the business slows down. Pretty soon, the business slows down even more, and then he has to close shop. Who was the smart one in that story? The dad. The, the dad, because he was running the business properly. He was advertising, which is one of the things that franchises really, really push. You got to advertise your business, right? And the son, worried about the economy, said, hey, you got to cut costs, which is true. You should cut costs. But if it's working, why cut costs if it's working, right? So he took out his whole advertising campaign, and heads, you reap what you sow, and that's that. He had no more business. Uh, so franchising, uh, very good. One of the things about franchising is a lot of people think that it's an instant way to become a millionaire or make a lot of money. Not true, folks. Not true. Franchising, just like any other small business, is a lot of work, and you've got to be prepared to put in a lot of hours. A lot of hours. Every franchisee that I know works their tail completely off. Some are successful, some are not. So work, it's always come down to work. Uh, you've heard it say, you know, uh, do something you love, right? And you'll be rich. Anybody heard that saying before? Do what you love. I changed that a little bit because I don't agree with that. <laughs> love at what you work. Now think about that. If you love at what you work, it never becomes a chore. You, you, be, you put 100% into it. Whether it be washing dishes, mowing lawns, running a corporation, if you don't love doing it, move on. You need to love it. But the way you love that is love everything you do when it comes to work. Give 100%. Give everything you got. And you'll be rewarded. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. But believe me, I've never seen a boss not reward an employee who gives me 100% every single day, who's there on time, who, who does everything I ask them to do, and gives me even more than I ask them to do.